This year at Fantasy Fest 2019, we meet some new friends, Sirak, the not-so-alive clown, and one of his buddies, Chokin, well, the chicken. And let's not forget this year's crew of misfits. Wait, they look like last year's crew of misfits. And somehow this year, we got a rodent infestation. And the theme this year to Fantasy Fest? In tune, but not off key. So join us for Fantasy Fest 40th Annual Three Ring Circus. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Rejuvenate my future bright, so thankful for everything. Rejuvenate my inner light as I work hard for all I need. Open arms, embrace the life, and all the which you gave me. I work, it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me. Do the shit and love it on a daily. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave, never leave. But that ain't gonna be me, that ain't gonna be me. My brother called me up, said he saw me on TV. So it is 7.30 and we are waiting on the butts, half of Whipple Butts, to arrive at the airport and then we are heading out first thing in the morning for Key West. And we are sans Mr. Whipple this trip. Um, he's gonna meet us in Key West. He had some work he had to attend to, but was nice enough to let Carol come along, and so we are looking forward to that. Heading down tomorrow, and we should arrive Friday night, Friday day at some point. So, uh, got everything fixed, pretty much cleaned up. Um, new battery in the port side engine, Um I have some cleaning to do along the way for the other two cabins, but all in all, we are pretty much ready to go. Quinn and Scott are finishing up cleaning at O Dark 30. And uh, then we off. Fantasy Fest, here we come. See you in a month, Lauderdale. Gotta love Florida. October, still bikini season. And that's the difference between beating straight into the wind and being able to run with it. It's also the difference between a charter boat and a cruiser. He gets to pick his weather windows. Us, not so much. We gotta get where we're going. All right, so you are the first test well, second tester of the pasta straws. Pasta straws, yes. So, tell me your honest opinion. It feels a little different, but it doesn't taste different at all. It tastes like using a regular straw. Why are you cheating? I'm sorry? Why are you cheating? <laughs> yeah, I'm cheating. It's, yeah, we're cheating. So, it doesn't... So, if you had that or a paper straw to choose from, this is definitely over a paper straw. All okay. right. Because a paper straw disintegrates. It disintegrates. It, yeah. It, I don't like paper straws. Okay. I don't but know. This one seems to be holding up. It's the right size. It doesn't have any kind of funky taste. It doesn't stick to my lip. So I think, uh, I think you, you got a winner. All right. Now if we could just get all the restaurants to adopt pasta, pasta straws. straws. We're going to try our first in sale drone flight. Dun dun dun! How fast are we going? Four or five now. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that was a close call. It went right between the shrouds, and I got it away from the mainsail quick enough. That's not the way to work. Yeah. <laughs>
you went and laid out in the sun for how long? Like a couple hours. A couple hours. Yeah. Came back to get a drink after yeah. leaving it sitting in your drink for a couple hours. I think where the cup was rubbing it had a little, a yeah. little spot. Right. And it just kind of gave way. And then the bottom of it's all kind of. Uh, is it splitting? Yeah, it's falling yeah. apart. And does it taste like pasta now? They said pasta. Okay. So, you know. So if it's a one time use, like if you're just at a restaurant? Yeah. Then it would be perfect. It's For not. Long term use, maybe not. Yeah, it's not an all day deal. Yeah. Okay. But it's still good. So, our guests have um, told us that they're flying in and we are headed into the Ocean's Edge Marina to fuel up and pick them up, have some lunch, and a mosey on southward. Tomorrow we get into the galleon and uh, let the party begin. Got Wahoo with seasoning and tomato and lemon and onion and garlic and a Cajun making it for us with some red beans and rice. Can't be Cajun without a little red pepper. And some red pepper. Best thing in the world is when you have guests on board that cook your shit for you. And of course a little more garlic. Thank you, Johnny, for the Wahoo. Thank you, Johnny. Look forward to next trip. You flew long and hard for that Wahoo. I did. That was a long and hard trip. We got some butternut squash and pumpkin ravioli and some red beans and rice. Now we're going to fold it up and throw it on the grill. That's a 350. 350. 350. For about. 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your grill. Mm -hmm. You gotta talk to Scott about the grill. We're here, kids. Let the festivities begin. With a cheeseburger. Yes. In paradise. Headed to Island Dogs. Get some grub and some buy one, get one free drinks. We got Scott over here on the glue gun. Making bike decorations. We're zombifying Terry's white t-shirt. And now it's long term. And it's Trisha's birthday. Happy birthday to me! Our work. Look Beautiful. Mom, look what I didn't say in school, Mom. <laughs> it looks fantastic, kids. Oh, oh, husband and wife team getting the shit hang on. I got fogged over. Look at you guys go. And what are you over there doing? Enjoying the breeze? He's Having a beer? Are we on beer one yet? Nope. Water still? Supervising. Okay. <laughs> He's hydrating. Hydrating, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you're wearing vampire wigs? No. Oh, the bike is. Oh, okay. We're dressing up bikes. So you'll see Ciroc out there when you go out to um, decorate the bikes. We have a little sex swing. <laughs> This year, the crew from The Space Between decided to get dressed up and go all the way to the start. And I'm glad we did. We saw some of the coolest things that you probably wouldn't have seen if you just joined it midstream. Some of these people have gone so far out of their way, and it had to take them months to create some of this stuff. So with the sun setting on Key West, we all hopped on our bikes and started the ride. As we head west down A1A, and then we take a few back streets, and then we jump on over to Duval Street and go all the way down. This year there were so many people participating that several times we came to a dead stop and sometimes even had to walk our bikes. But all in all, it's for a great cause and we had a blast. See you next year, zombie bike ride. Mr. Whipple has arrived! <laughs> 
<laughs> it is. What is today? Two two Tuesday. Yeah, because you're and what am I wearing? Let's see your lit up. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Where's your lit up tutu? Oh, Woohoo! Oh, no, Wait, we can't name? see his yet. That's what? 80. What's the boy's name? That's what boy? That Scott's wearing. Oh, Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. Well, that's, that's not, not tonight. tonight. Uh, that's not tonight. But, but I did have him. Um, you were absolutely gorgeous in your little outfit. Here, uh -huh. let me get a let me get a picture of you. I was trying to get a fog Look at you. Look at that. Wait, I gotta have my little socks on the hat. Oh yeah, the go ahead and do whatever you need to do, hun. Can you, oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh my God, you're gorgeous. Yes, love that. Here, come in the line a little bit here so we can get a little picture. There we go, there we go. See? Kevin's hair is hot. Like, like yes, it is. hot, not hot. It's Thank you, hot. it's hot, baby, it's hot. That's hot. You're very hot. Oh, let's see, let's, here we get long view. There we go. She's like four foot one and we're gonna have to do the long view. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, don't you look good? Congratulations. Look at these hot chicks. And this look at this one here. Ladies and gentlemen, right here on the sailing space between the women are freaking gorgeous and oh my god. I'm whoa, 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 hey, hey. There's no headband. Hey. Tonight's not headband night, I wasn't sure, so Who's I that is some fiery Fairy tutu. Villa. <laughs> Fairy. I am not guns. holding it. Oh yeah, you're holding my hand. In the oh god, no. I'll go skip. <laughs> We're gonna skip along, yeah. I like the fairy villa. Fairy villa, oh, fairy that's villa. nice. As long as it's not hairy villa. <laughs> so this Tuesday, we were hitting two two Tuesdays and cocktail for animal tails. Unfortunately, by the end of the night, I had to bring that mouse home by her tail. The next morning, we had a patron meetup where we finally got to meet some of the people that support our videos. Uh, I think they had 250. Uh, they had a <laughs> You and Carol just came by with the same exact face. We've been together. Wait now. We survived Choo Choo Tuesday, barely. But today is um, a retro, 60s retro pool party at the marker. So we are. Um, getting dressed for that. My 60s bathing suit attire. Wait till you see Scott. Put it in a second. And then tonight, more Stock Wednesday. Getting another use out of our bell bottoms. And, uh, yeah. The liver's gonna need a nice break after this week. <laughs> After our eye-opening uh, event in the pool, we donned our 70s gear for Wharfstock Wednesday and headed over to the Schooner Wharf Bar. Had to tie Chokin to the mast. He just wasn't dressed right. So Thursday we took an off day. Just kind of walked around like every other tourist around there. Hey, you gotta be a woman. You gotta learn to be uncomfortable, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see where we ended up that night. So much for taking a day of drinking off. Well, it's Friday, and it's time to take the crew up to the pub for a little grog. What captain could ask for a better crew than this lot? Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> What's the back of your tattoo? What's the back of your tattoo? It's just a paradise tattoo. That's hilarious. Oh my lord. Is that a fake tattoo though? Yeah. So Saturday is the parade at Fantasy Fest. They close off the streets, then they bring Big Brother in, just to make sure things don't get too crazy. But it's Key West. How do you distinguish crazy? So needless to say, it's an all day affair. We are patiently waiting. Oh, the girls have arrived. We're gonna catch Whipple's reaction. Oh, you should see the reaction of the girls, people on the dock. They're getting oh, pictures. Oh, how cute. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> oh, my. <laughs> I'm not filming you. I'm filming his reaction to you. So the boys and I put on our uh, elaborate costumes, as you can see, and went fishing for some mermaids. Pretty good day, I'd say. And this one might even turn out to be a keeper. People get there pretty early. They get their spot at the fence. This year we decided to do something a little different though. And we got us a balcony just above the elbow room. Remember this guy? And about halfway through the parade, our nice, quiet little balcony went from this to this. Now tickets up here were anything but cheap. So to open it up midway through the parade and just let everybody up? Not cool, Treehouse. Not cool. And next year, the Roaring Twenties. As the parade came to an end, so did this cruise time at Fantasy Fest. Holly and I are extremely fortunate to have such good friends to be able to share these times with. And while the sun may be setting on this adventure, on the space between, we can't wait to see you guys again next year, or maybe even sooner. Who knows? The exit scene. I don't like this scene. I know. It's my favorite part. Until next time. There may be a dead mermaid on the table. Bye bye, Holly. See you, Whipple. See you in the space between next time. Signature flight sometime. So round two. So don't forget to join us next time as we swab the decks and get the space between all ready for our seven day charter. But first we fly Aiden and Pugsley out to spend a few days with us. Special shout out to our patrons. We couldn't do it without you. If you guys want to see some edit, unedited versions of Fantasy Fest, drop me a line. I'll make a video.